Hey guys, um, today, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be detangling with the Soul Tentacles Knot Sauce. I'm doing like a, a detangler, tr detangler trial to show you, share with you guys um, detanglers that work for my hair and ones that don't. I have tried the Soul Tentacles once, well twice before. And this is how much I have left after using it twice. This is the 8 ounce jar. Um, the first time I used it, I had just gotten it and I just wanted to try it and I had already washed my hair so I used it as a leave-in and that was a huge mistake because it left a really nasty film on my hair. Um, it looked like my hair was dirty. I had flakes on my scalp and flakes all over my hair. Um, and the second time I used it, I used it as a detangler on dry hair and I ended up having to use a lot of it because... Um, it's really hard to spread throughout. It's really hard to spread throughout your hair. So today I have my spray bottle to wet my hair down a little bit while I detangle. Um, I've also just done a pre poo with uh, coconut um, and olive oil, so that's why my hair looks so shiny and wet down. All right, so let's get started. I have a lot of knots too because I had um, mini twists in for about. I had mini twists in for about four weeks so and I just took them out literally like yesterday so I really have um, a lot of knots and tangles especially at the roots and I'm going to be finger detangling also alright so I'm going to start take my detangler it's really hard to squeeze out of this bottle too it comes with like this little nozzle right here but it's hard to get out so that's how much I have It has a lot of slip and it smells really, really nice, but this isn't something you can leave in your hair at all. So the, um... The tangler that I did before was the Comet Biologics. That one just softened up your hair a lot um, and it kind of just melted the knots away. This one has a ton of slip. So it's easy, if you use a comb, it's easy for the comb just to glide through it. But I'm not using a comb today because I have um, terrible knots and I don't want to rip through my hair. And um, I've been trying to detangle, finger detangle anyway, so. Alright. So it's not so bad, it's actually pretty good. Um, it's, it was easy to uh, distribute it through my hair and I think that's because I wet it down a little bit first. So, um, so I've used this twice, this is my third time using it, and I can definitely say that it's not my favorite detangler so far, um, it's not my favorite, it has a lot of slip, but it's not my favorite.
And I think it was a good idea too to get rid of a lot of the shed hairs um, while it was dry before applying the entangler because I'm noticing too that it's not as easy to release the shed hairs um, with this detangler. It's like the hair kind of clings together and I think that's why my curls are forming because the, the hair is like clinging together. So I'm definitely going to have to detangle in the shower um, when I rinse out my conditioner. Right, one more section and then I'm going to finish up off camera and then wash my hair. So I'm going to finish my hair off camera, but I will say that the knot sauce is a, a it's like a detangler. It has a lot of slip and it smells really nice. I don't really care for smells or I just care that a product does what it says it's going to do. So it has great slip. Um, the only cons that I could find was that it left a nasty residue on my hair. So if you're planning to just detangle your hair and Maybe not wash it right away. I wouldn't suggest that with this product because your hair is going to look dirty. Um, and even if you use a little bit amount, a little bit, not like me where I was heavy handed with this section, but if you use a, a tiny bit amount, I still got the same results. Because I, like I said, I did try to use it as a leave-in the first day I got it. And it's moisturizing, but it leaves a nasty film on your hair and it makes your hair clump together. Like it feels sticky so I would recommend washing it out right away and um, it's kind of hard to get out of the bottle also but I mean that might not be a big deal for some people but I don't want to have to fight with the bottle when I'm trying to detangle my hair so anyways y'all that's it for um, my detangling trial today thank you guys for watching thanks to everyone who's already subscribed to my channel Alright you guys, see you in the next video. Bye.